Hospitals in the heart of California's Central Valley are running out of beds as the Delta variant spreads primarily among the unvaccinated. I'm Itai Hot in Fresno, where ambulances are so overwhelmed, they're now turning people away. Barely two minutes into their morning shift, paramedics Lonnie Taylor and Claudia Zamago are already off to their first call of the day. So we're responding to someone right now that's having um, heart problems is all we know. A few short weeks ago, a call like this wouldn't require extra masks or face shields. But these days, Lonnie and Claudia aren't taking any chances. As we know, with COVID, sometimes that can cause some chest pain. So we just have to be ready just in case it is COVID related. Is he altered? As it turns out, they were right. Okay. The patient shares a home with someone who's tested positive for COVID-19. No one in the house is wearing a mask. Do you have a cough? For the last few weeks, Lonnie and his colleagues at American Ambulance, the sole 911 provider for the entire Fresno area, have been working around the clock trying to keep up with one of the worst COVID surges they've seen yet. We're running in a 12-hour shift, upwards of 12 calls. It wasn't always this way. At the beginning of the pandemic, Lonnie was sending his resources to help harder hit areas. Now his paramedics are forced to turn people away, only transporting the sickest patients. You, you'll be okay. As hospitals in the area are near capacity. Um, so right now there aren't any beds um, in the ER and that's because of staffing, because of COVID issues. He'll have to wait a little bit for a bed and there's uh, another, I think three patients in front of him. It's gotten so bad, he's had to transport patients as far as Los Angeles, three and a half hours away. The Fresno area is among some of the hardest hit in the state. Just a few weeks ago, the virus seemed to be dying here. Now, the current seven-day average case in Fresno County is 20 times higher than it was in June. Everyone's just been misinformed um, and not getting credible sources, credible facts. Only 46% of Fresno County's population have gotten their COVID shots, compared to almost 60% in the rest of the state. That means more than half of the patients Lonnie comes in contact with are likely unvaccinated. And it's not just their patients. At least 30 of their co-workers are sick with COVID. Everybody's exhausted and tired and, you know, we just do our best. At the end of the day, um, that's all you can really do is your best. What else did you take? Look up at me. Their next call is a 19-year-old female under the influence. Huh? But as Lonnie begins his treatment, the patient starts coughing. How long have you been sick? Two days. Two days. The woman is then rushed to the hospital, brought in through the COVID entrance. She is barely coherent. Once I started talking to her and all of a sudden um, she started coughing profusely. Um, I looked at my partner and we both agreed that this had the potential of being COVID. At the end of the day, Lonnie and Claudia head back to their headquarters. And even though it's been a rough few weeks, Lonnie is hopeful. I am optimistic that things will get better. Uh, it may take a while. Until then, he just hopes that their best is good enough. <laughs>